This video will walk you through how to determine the productivity of a hamburger factory. Productivity is a simple yet effective measure of outputs in relation to inputs. Let's begin by briefly summarizing the problem and the requirements. Here a hamburger factory produces 60,000 hamburgers each week. The equipment used costs $10,000 and will remain productive for 4 years. The labor cost is $13,000 per year. There are two requirements for this problem. Requirement A asks us to determine the productivity of the existing product and labor mix. And requirement B asks whether or not we should invest in new equipment with a longer life while reducing labor costs. So let's start with requirement A, which asks, what is the productivity measure of units of output per dollar of input averaged over the four year period? The basic formula for productivity is a quantity of output divided by the quantity of inputs. Now a common mistake students make here is reversing the formula and taking inputs divided by outputs, so watch out for that. Extended to this scenario, we can calculate productivity to be the total outputs produced divided by the total labor cost plus the total equipment cost. This will result in an output per dollar input ratio. This is also known as multi-factor productivity, with the two factors being labor and equipment. Converting these into dollar costs allows us to take completely different inputs such as labor, utilities, rent, equipment, and combining them into a common unit of measurement, which is dollars. So moving along, here we calculate the numerator as follows. 60,000 hamburgers per week times 52 weeks times 4 years. The 4 years, of course, represents the life of the equipment. The labor cost portion of the denominator is calculated as a $13,500 annual cost times 4 years, and then we add the $10,000 equipment cost. This results in total output over the four-year period of 12,480,000 hamburgers. That's a lot of burgers. And we divide that by $64,000 of input cost for a total productivity ratio of 195 hamburgers per dollar. And now we can move on to requirement B. Here we have the option of investing in equipment with a cost of $13,000 and an operating life of five years. Buying this machine would reduce the annual labor cost to $11,000 per year. So should we consider purchasing this equipment based on productivity arguments alone? To solve this, the same productivity formula applies here. Total units produced divided by the sum of total labor and total equipment cost. Under this scenario, total output is calculated as 60,000 hamburgers per week times 52 weeks times 5 years to represent the longer equipment life. The denominator is calculated as the revised $11,000 in annual labor cost times 5 years, and then we add the new $13,000 equipment cost. So this results in 15,600,000 hamburgers being produced over the new 5-year period, at an input cost of $68,000. The productivity under this scenario is 229.4 hamburgers per dollar, which is an improvement over the current cost structure. The conclusion therefore is, yes, purchase the more expensive machine because the longer life and the reduced annual labor costs would result in a productivity increase of 17.64%. We can calculate that simply by taking the new productivity of 229.4 divided by the old of 195 to get a factor of 1.1764 or an increase of 17.64%. As you can see, Productivity is a relatively simple concept and it's very adaptable to all types of businesses with different input cost structures. Just be careful not to reverse the calculation and make sure you always take outputs divided by inputs.